Television Talk Show Issues, man. Another great day, another great season. 2020, a lot of exciting things going on and taking place here in the state of Mississippi and the Golden Triangle area. I'm your host and executive producer, Rick Mason. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man, we got a popular face here. We have a minister. We have a preacher. We have a coach. We have a, I mean, uh, I mean, he, he's it all, man. Welcome to the show, Mr. Latham. How you doing today, sir? Hey, man, let's talk about it, man. Basketball. Yes. Man, you still in you? You still moving around? Where are you now and what are you doing? What you got going on in the sports world? I'm with the Aliceville, Open Aliceville High School, Aliceville High School girls basketball, the high school team. Uh -huh. And uh, we, Mr. Fred Young, the principal, they come got me out of retirement. Got you out of retirement? Yes. Okay, so Aliceville itself, man, uh, being that you're dealing with a girls basketball team, I know that was a big challenge to uh, go over there and, and be in a whole different arena, uh, being that you're from Mississippi. Uh, any reason why uh, you hadn't got back into coaching here in Columbus, Mississippi, or the state of Mississippi? I wasn't really looking to get back into coaching. Uh -huh. Locksmith. Again, you was drafted. I you, was drafted. Uh -huh. I was drafted. Uh -huh. Mr. Young come by the house and said he needed a girls basketball coach. Okay. I told him he still do. <laughs> <laughs> and so you turned it down a couple of times before you <laughs> yeah, took the job. Yeah, he asked me would I come help him and I told him I would. Uh -huh. And um, I've been over there. This is my first year back over there with him. Uh -huh. And I'm just glad to be in coaching. I love coaching. Okay. I needed money more so than I need money. Okay, man. Tell us about it, man. So you dealt with the varsity uh, ba girls basketball team? I do. I okay. All right. Well, tell us, uh, what was your season like? Well, right now, we uh, we won 16 and lost four. Okay. We are playing for the district championship on this Wednesday night coming, which will be February the 5th. Okay. And so we've had an outstanding season. Okay. You know, like that. So, uh, well, from from then to now, what is it like? I mean, with the team itself, what was it? What was the season like uh, before you got there last year? Well, last year I understand that they only won five games, um, and the talent is there. Wait, five games, and they, now they so so five. so. In other words, they they, they won five and lost eighteen. Eighteen. Right? Yeah. So and now they have won sixteen and, and lost, lost four. Man, imagine that. So uh, you think? Um, that it was from your, your knowledge and your time and your skills dealing with the kids to uh, make them flip over a whole nother route? Well, yeah, the talent was there. Uh -huh. They I just needed a guide. I don't got it. Black mouth coaches. Or I didn't. Yeah, you know, we're not so doing yeah, that. But I'm know, just but saying. I'm just yeah. Saying, so that's what it make it look. I mean, but it is what it is. I mean, if you, if you, and, you know, is it the same girls that were there last pretty year? Pretty much. Pretty well, much. Well, I mean, hey, yeah. what do you call a, a banana, banana, or a spade, or, <laughs> or whatever the case may be. But man, hey, but everybody needs different types of coaching. So uh, who's to say? That's just like with the NFL uh, in play, uh, the Super Bowl. What's your prediction? I don't have one. I'm. My team is not there. We got put out by two. two three Who's weeks your team? Ago, the Minnesota Vikings. Okay, well, so we'll, well ha hats off to you guys. I mean, I do mean off because you, you're not playing. Right. But uh, who would you like to see win? Maybe Kansas City or San Francisco? I would like to see Kansas City win. Okay. Uh, Andy Reid. Uh -huh. The only reason I would like Kansas City to win. Okay. I don't have a preference to win. Okay. I would right. like Kansas City to win. Uh, Andy Reid. Okay. Head coach. The only reason I would want them to win. Okay, well, sound like one. So, what would you suggest uh, to uh, a struggling coach who are uh, who's coming up in the industry and trying to uh, do much better? You have to get the best out your players. Uh -huh. First of all, you got to let them know that you love them and you care for them. Right. Once they know you care, uh -huh. then they'll give you all they got. Okay. And all right. that's all you can ask. When you go in and let them know that you love them and care, then they'll give you all you have, whether you win a game or not. If they give you all they got, that's all you can ask for. And that's all I've been asking my team to give me everything they have. And there have been some trying times. Right. So what are some of the biggest issues you had to deal with uh, going into a whole other area of teaching basketball and you hadn't been in the game in a while? Mm -hmm. 
I've what, been, what I, was I, one? I've been out 30 years. Right. Since I left Lee High School back in the mid 80s. Right. Um, but like I said again. What was the big? I mean, what was one of the biggest issues that you had to deal with? The smart mouth of the young ladies. Right. Really right. Good. If we could get past their attitudes uh -huh. and. All and those be some of the best players. Exactly. Uh -huh. Those are the ones. The, the best players give you the most headaches. Okay. So if you can get into their head and let them know we're all in this together, uh -huh. let them know that, hey, we can do this, but you're going to have to calm down. You're going to have to be a ball player and not a coach. Hey, we'll be right back in just a moment to wrap things up with Coach Latham. Uh, we want to get a, a, a question about what are some of the parents saying uh, when you are uh, pretty tough on their kids? We want to know about it. It's Issues Television Talk Show. Once again, email us at issuestalkshow at gmail.com or either give us a call at 662-386-6064 if you got an issue. Plus, we're going to be talking about the Drunken Disciple uh, documentary that's taking place that's dealing here in the Golden Triangle area. Much to come right here for the Television Talk Show, Issues. Issues, 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 issues. Be sure to check out Issues Television Talk Show every week, Saturday mornings at 6.30 a.m. on The CW and Sunday nights at 10 p.m. on My Mississippi, hosted by Rick Don't Go Mason. Issues Television Talk Show. Issues, 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 issues. Direct Foods on Alabama Street in Columbus is the place to find great bargains and value on restaurant quality groceries for your personal kitchen or organization. Direct Foods stock ready to heat and eat items like casseroles, chicken dressing, macaroni and cheese, or chicken and dumplings. Plus, chicken strips and pizza for the kids. No time to cook? No problem. Direct Foods has you covered. From cooked or ready to cooked buffalo wings, fresh flash frozen vegetables by the bag, frozen fish and burgers, or biscuits. Folks, this is restaurant quality foods. And if you need to cook for a living, a family, or a holiday get together, Direct Foods can help with a great selection of bulk seasonings, cooking oil, containers, and aluminum roasting pans for the occasion. From sugary bakery cakes from Amory, Mississippi to St. Clair's casseroles, you can cross it off your list for less at Direct Foods, 606 Alabama Street, Columbus. That's Direct Foods, 606 Alabama Street, Columbus. Hey Rick, what's a good place for me to send my lady to to get her hair done, nails done, and pick out an outfit? Man, just tell me, what's the place? Where can she go? I'm glad you asked, D-South, the perfect pair. Located 1016 Gardner Boulevard in Columbus, or either give them a call at 662-798-9700. Ask for Latoya Gavin, and they have it going on at the perfect pair. Braids, shoes, sunglasses, jewelry, lashes, clutches, they got whatever you want. Also, all your decor needs. Stop by and skip Schedule an appointment with Tanika. Grand opening coming soon. It's all about the perfect pair. Order shoes for weddings and special occasions. Operation hours, Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. And Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Get by there today or give them a call. 662-798-9700. Like them on Facebook. So for that perfect occasion, it's only one place to shop. That's the perfect pair. 1016 Gardner Boulevard in Columbus. Your accessories and shoe store. Muffalo Magic, Muffalo Magic, 110 Tuscaloosa Road at Columbus. Voted best muffler shop in all of the Golden Dranger area. Glass packs, turbos, converters, all sizes in new and used tires. Check them out. Give them a call at 662-327-6991. Over 4,000 used tires in stock. Floor masters, stock mufflers will meet or beat any prices on exhaust systems. 110 Tuscaloosa Road in Columbus. Over 30 years of experience. Check it out. 110 Tuscaloosa Road. We're talking basketball. I would sing the song, but I, I don't know. We're tough. We're playing basketball. You know, you know. They, 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 said, they said some preachers can't sing, but I mean, you, you did pretty good. Okay. But hey, man, we're here with uh, Mr. Latham, man, talking about basketball, sports, and different things, and dealing with issues that take place, dealing with young students coaching them in today's society, in today's world. Have you ever had to deal with any parents while you were trying to teach their daughters dealing with issues in that magnitude? Exactly, because I've had to put two off the team. Uh -huh. and the parents want to come out. and It's a different day than when I was coaching, coaching back uh -huh. in the day back there. The parents was on board. Right. But now some of the parents are afraid of the children. Some of the parents 
You, you know, think because we got younger parents yes, now raising exactly. kids versus exactly. older? As we would say, babies making babies. And or, or, or friends exactly. trying to be their parents' friends. You, yeah. you remember when grandmother used to raise us and uh -huh. she had that long dress on with this uh -huh. knot in her stockings and yeah. stuff. And we uh -huh. don't have that anymore. Right, we correct. We don't have big, big mama no more. Right, correct. Know. And so now the younger children are trying to be their friends with the parents and mm -hmm. the parents with the children. And it's not all of them, but you, right. could, you could tell the ones that are being raised. Okay. You right. can. The ones that are being raised, they are respectable, but the ones that the parents just, you know, let them have their way are, again, I say they're afraid of them because uh -huh. now you can call 911 uh -huh. and, you know, like that don't help the child. That, right. that, that hurts the child more than anything. Right. But on the majority of all the parents that I've encountered, I had not an issue with them. That's one or two want to know why this and why we can't do that. Right, correct. And I would have to tell them, Mr. Young, Mr. Prosper, I got to go by him. Then after that, I am the coach. And if you want your daughter out here, she got to be coachable. You got to follow the rules. If not, take her home with you when you go. It's very simple. Yeah. Man, that's a tough love, that's good teaching. And uh, again, you're helping them because you're actually taking care of the kids exactly. when they're away from home it's, it's, because you're dealing with them on the bus, you're dealing with them when you go on a field trip or a game. So you're parenting at the same time as coach. And as I tell them, it's not about basketball, it's about being a young lady because uh -huh. you're going to leave basketball. Give you two, three years, you'll be out of here. How will your life be impacted by how you were a child when you were coming through school? Basketball is just a drop in the bucket of afterlife when you move on. So Correct. I'm trying to teach them how to be a productive adults when they get up in age. Mm -hmm. as, and I'm leading them now as to let them know it ain't about basketball. It is about respecting your elders and being a child as long as you can be one. Because when you get to be an adult, you don't want to be a child. It's mm -hmm. going to be too late then. You know? So we stretch. Um, being a young lady right now, uh -huh. to be a productive young lady because when you get up in age, you want to look back over your life and say, I've done everything I can uh -huh. to get the most out of life. And that's what I preach every day to you. And the reason why you can say this is because you have a daughter and a granddaughter of your own. Yeah, so exactly. they would ask the question, well, how did he know how to raise yeah, it? Because you're a father. He's a father. Yes. Coach, yes. again, man, we really appreciate your time. Bless you. Locksmith King, the whole nine, man. <laughs> we really appreciate it all. And again, congratulations uh, on your, your win. Uh, this, is the, this is the Pickens champions. County uh, Champions, and this is the team. And uh, I guess he'll get me a great or a better picture one day that we can utilize. But this is Television Talk Show Issues, man. And, and we're coming we're up. playing for the district championship. District championship. This coming Wednesday, uh -huh. February the 5th in Addisville. They hadn't played for the district championship now. About so you're making years. history. Making history. Man, I tell we you. We win, we will make history. Hey, well, you've made history already because you're talking from That's here right. today. Right. Can you look in that camera and say issues? Issues. Man, we'll be right back in just a moment with Dope Belly Straight, but he's going to give you his name. Take me to the border. 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 Mi Hacienda Mexican Restaurant has all your favorite Mexican food. It's a great place for the entire family. Daily specials. Monday night, fajita night. Tuesday night, combination night. Wednesday night, seniors and kids night. Thursday night, drinks, 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 drinks. Drink specials. Margaritas, two for one. Jumbo margaritas. Monster margaritas. Pictures of margaritas. Mexican beer and domestic beer. Friday and Saturday, we always have it whatever you like. All specials are from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. Come eat, drink, and have fun with a clean atmosphere. Go by and see Felipe or Rudy at either location. 911 Mississippi Highway 12, Starkville, Mississippi, or 1207 Highway 45 in Columbus. In the Spillers Furniture Plaza, or give them a call in Starkville at 662-320-2233, or in Columbus, 662-327-3396. Happy hour, appetizers, they've got it all. Come celebrate your birthday party, your anniversary, whatever the occasion may be. We want to put the hat on you. It's all about Mi Hacienda. Ten years sound like a long time. 
but 40 years is even longer. I said that to say this. Skeet's Hot Dog has been serving the Golden Triangle for over 40 years. And for the last 10 years, Sylvia Graham has been the owner. Hats off to you for being a young black business owner. It's our 10-year anniversary. Open Tuesday through Saturday. New weekly specials. Three chicken wings and fries for only $4.99. All beef hot dogs with fries, only $1.99. Barbecue sandwiches with fries, only $2.99. 10 years. And Skeet's Hot Dogs doesn't only just sell hot dogs. Holy sausages, Italian beef sausage, rib tips, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, chicken wings, catfish. And you already know, that bone-in pet trial is on deck. Skeet's Hot Dog. They're doing it the Chicago way. Come on out and check them out. Skeet's Hot Dog, 14th Avenue North in Columbus. Or give them a call at 662-327-0755. Congratulations to Ciara McGee. Just been promoted to manager of the store. The owner of Skeet's Hot Dog, Sylvia Graham, would like to thank you for all the business over the years. Skeet's Hot Dog. Where the food is not a snack, it's a meal. Check out Kids Cleaning Service, located 812 Short Main in Columbus. Give them a call, 662-549-2825, and ask for Maurice. It's Kids Cleaning Service, right here in the Golden Triangle area. They remove stains with a class, with a great smell and a great look. Give Maurice a call, like them on Facebook. Give them a call for a free estimate today, and let them bring your carpet back to life. With a great smell and a great look. It's all about kids cleaning service. Welcome to the television talk show issues. We're back. I told you we would have Dobelly Stray on the show. And again, hey, I'm gonna let him tell you his new name that he goes by now. What's your name you go by now, sir? Kwame Sankofa. I can't pronounce it if Dobelli I wanted is to. Dobelly is fine. We're gonna go with that. And man, um, the reason why I have Dobelly on the show, he's been on the show before, but we're talking about this documentary that he's um, released uh, dealing with a lot of things that people probably wasn't even educated on in the past. And um, Dobelli, just give us a, a little snippet or a little conversation about some of the things that you talked about and some of the issues that have taken place here in the city of Columbus, Mississippi. Yes, sir. Um, most of the things that we try and discuss and cover are uh, historical facts mm -hmm. that have been buried. Uh -huh. you know, I won't say forgotten, uh -huh. because they haven't been forgotten, they've been silenced. You know, I like to use the word unforgotten history, uh -huh. because a lot of our elders, uh, they won't allow to talk about this thing. Okay. Either because of fear of white wrath, or because uh, we're people who hold a lot in, uh -huh. you know, and we try and be strong in the face of adversity. And a lot of our people didn't want their nightmares to destroy their kids' dreams, so they kept these stories to themselves. Mm -hmm. and. Now that we have the opportunity for these type of things to be exposed, the younger generation doesn't really care. Okay. So our job with the Drunken Disciple is to bring that history to light so that they, those elders will have a voice and that they can be counted, you know, to say, hey, yeah, I was a part of this. Okay. It's happening. So where did the name Drunken Disciple come <laughs> from? What did that create from? I mean, Drunken Disciple, man, was something that we were looking at. Uh, we were looking to raise eyebrows. Uh -huh. Even if you've never seen the webisode, uh -huh. if you scrolled and saw it, it was clickbait. Okay. So basically, basically that was the whole purpose of the Drunken Disciple name, to be clickbait. Okay. To say, wow, what is this guy talking about? Correct. You know. To get something eye-catching or, yes, or ear-catching. Yes, sir. To yes, actually sir. see what's going on. In order to catch that attention. Right. So um, I noticed you did a clip in front of the railroad, uh, Greenville or Railroad. What yes, was, sir. What was that? What was that all about? Okay, that deal, man, that's a very interesting story that a lot of people don't know. Um, a sister by the name of Cordella Stevenson uh -huh. was uh, lit there in 1915. Uh, she had a son who got into an argument with a, uh, a, a white man by the name of uh, Gabe Frank. Okay. About a barn, a barn, a barn that burned down. And although he had no proof, he assumed that her son had committed this crime. Well, when he couldn't be found, uh, they actually arrested Miss Stevenson, Stephen and her, her husband. And they held him for six days in the Lounge County Jail. Okay. After they convinced the authorities that, you know, they didn't know anything, they let him go home and they thought that was the end of it. Well, 10 o'clock that night, the white citizens of Lowndes County at that time came to the home, bought the, you know, just deboned in, uh -huh. you know, bum rushed the house. The husband went out of the back door to go get help. Mm -hmm. They grabbed Miss Stevenson, uh, took her to that railroad track, sexually assaulted her, and missed her in a tree. And according to the story, her body hung there from uh, Wednesday night, uh -huh. if I'm not mistaken, till Friday morning. 
before it was eventually cut down. And, you know, there's no marker there, uh -huh. there's uh, no memorial, nobody talks about it. And those are stories that need to be brought to light. Man, so what did you get this information from to be able to deliver it to people? Uh, Mr. Al. Uh, Is this in the history books anywhere? Uh, but, but like you said, it's hidden. So who's yes, to well, say this is true, what you're saying? Well, um, it's not so much hidden as it is silent. Uh -huh. well, the information is there. Uh, so who's to say this is true, that well, what you're saying? You can find it on the internet. Okay. You know, if you know what to look for, it's on the internet. Um, courthouse documents. Uh -huh. uh, it's taken an hour. Public records, in other yeah, words. Yes, sir. Uh, if you care about this type of thing, it's there. Uh -huh. uh, it's taken me many hours of research uh -huh. to find a lot of this stuff. Uh, Mr. Al Hinton has been a blessing to me. Okay. Uh, he's one of the, the elders here in Lowndes County that remember these things. Uh -huh. um, Kamal Kareem, uh -huh. uh, Brother Kabir Kareem, they've been blessings also. Uh -huh. You know, they keep this history. But if you want to find it, it's there, uh -huh. but you have to look for it. And then the Prost Park situation uh, yes, in Columbus, I saw you do a snippet there. What's yes, to say about the Prost Park? Okay, uh, Prost Park, man, uh, at the turn of the century, it was very different from what we know as Prost Park now. Uh -huh. uh, there was uh, a huge gazebo there where uh, white citizens uh, would go and listen to orchestra bands, and there was uh, skating, uh, uh -huh. dances. They even had a, a trolley car. They uh -huh. used to come down to Columbus and head to Post Park. And uh, during the uh, 8th of May, uh -huh. which was like our Juneteenth celebration in Columbus, okay. uh, blacks would be allowed to go to that park. Uh -huh. And they would be able to play basketball, and excuse, not basketball, baseball, and just pretty much spend that whole day in the park. Uh -huh. But that was the only time that they were really allowed in that park. Other than the 8th of May, it was resigned for white citizens. It's Black History Month here for the Television Talk Show Issues, and we're trying to inform you and educate you on what has happened in the past here in the city of Columbus and beyond. Again, we have Dobelli Stray on the show, and we're gonna wrap it up here in just a moment to find out some of the other issues that he's thought about, researched about, and talked about coming up soon, right here on the Television Talk Show, Issues. Once again, email us at issuestalkshow at gmail.com. Two and the one connection, two and the one connection, two and the one connection. Check them out in the Gateway Plaza Shopping Center with all your great deals and savings for all your hair needs, school uniforms, and so much more. Eyelashes, phones, phone cases, and they repair phones as well. iPads and so many more. Check them out at the Gateway Plaza Shopping Center. Go by and see Mo and the girls at 2 and the White Connection. Give them a call today. Right now today at 2 and the White Connection. Located in the Gateway Plaza Shopping Center at Columbus. Come see us today and get everything that you need. One stop shop at 2 and the White Connection at Columbus. Come see us at 2 and the White Connection. The place to be. Issues, 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 issues. Be sure to check out Issues Television Talk Show every week, Saturday mornings at 6.30 a.m. on The CW and Sunday nights at 10 p.m. on My Mississippi, hosted by Rick Don't Go Mason. Issues Television Talk Show. Issues, 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 issues. Hey Rick, what's a good place for me to send my lady to to get her hair done, nails done, and pick out an outfit? Man, just tell me, what's the place? Where can she go? I'm glad you asked, D-South. The perfect pair. Located 1016 Gardner Boulevard in Columbus. Or either give them a call at 662-798-9700. Ask for Latoya Gavin, and they have it going on at the perfect pair. Braids, shoes, sunglasses, jewelry, lashes, clutches. They got whatever you want. Also, all your decor needs. 
Stop by and schedule an appointment with Tanika. Grand opening coming soon. It's all about the perfect pair. Order shoes for weddings and special occasions. Operation hours, Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. And Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Get by there today or give them a call. 662-798-9700. Like them on Facebook. So for that perfect occasion, it's only one place to shop. That's the perfect pair. 1016 Gardner Boulevard in Columbus. Your accessories and shoe store. Educating you, informing you about what's going on here in the Golden Triangle area and beyond. If you want us in your city, your state, your town, give us a call, 662-386-6064. I'm your host and executive producer for the television talk show Issues. And we're going to wrap up the show here today dealing with Dope Belly Straight. And uh, we want to finalize some of the issues uh, that you might want to inform or educate people about some of the things that you have uh, ran across or researched here in the Golden Triangle. One of the surprising things I, I found is that uh, so many of us vote Democrat now, when a hundred years ago most of us were Republicans. Uh, Martin Luther King was a Republican. Most people didn't know that. The Republicans freed the slaves. Um, we, we have a, 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 uh, a loyalty to the Democratic Party that I don't feel that, uh, that, that they really uh, believed in. Or, or they, they've taken it for granted, should it as, as say that. Um, they believe in the power of black vote, but they don't believe they have to give us anything in return. Um, there's an old saying that if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. And right now, we need to really look at what is our political platform in America for the next 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years. You know, our people were very political 100 years. You know, uh, we had just got freed from slavery 150 years ago. Uh, the right to vote was on the table. You know, we were willing to die for that, we were killed for it. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, in 2020, we don't really just put an emphasis on how much, you know, uh, how important it is for us to be in politics, to be involved and to play our part in this country. Okay. All right, man. Well, that's been a good educational moment here, Black History Moment, dealing with uh, what's going on in your city, your town, your state, your area. Um, it's Black History Month, so we got more things to come your way, uh, more exciting things coming again. Be sure to look out for the movie uh, Justice on Trial 2020, coming out to a theater near you, um, dealing with uh, Harriet Tubman, dealing with Emmett Till, and also featuring the movie Todd Bridges from Different Strokes. Professor Ogrefi from the Parkers and Temple of Soul from Preacher's Wife. And of course, Rick Mason, I'm in the movie as well, being featured, coming to the theater near you. Check it out, it's Justice on Trial. Plus, again, Issues Television Talk Show is on the move. If you want us in a city near you, just give us a call. We're live for the Television Talk Show. Can you look in that camera and say Issues? Yes, sir. Issues. We'll catch you next week, same place, same place, same time. <laughs> 6.30 a.m. Set your DVRs on CW if you're on Direct TV or check us out Sunday nights My Mississippi on cable at 10 p.m. on Sunday nights. It's the Television Talk Show. Issues. <laughs>